Amino acids are necessary to build just about every tissue in the body. These amino acids, we normally consume them directly from food or proteins that we consume. But the body needs many different types of amino acids. In fact, there are nine different ones and these are essential. Essential meaning these are substances that the body doesn't produce, doesn't make, and therefore we must consume it from external sources such as food, vegetables, and supplements. But you must know that not all sources of amino acids are the same, meaning not all will have the same effect like that of eating eggs, tofu, fish, or instead consuming amino acids directly. So let's look at what are the benefits of using amino acids. The benefits of any substance, not just amino acids, are going to be related to the function that the substance creates within the body. For example, tryptophan is necessary to make serotonin and serotonin is able to improve my emotional state. So if we know that using one gram of tryptophan per day is going to better my mood and increase my mental reaction time, then it sure is worth it taking advantage of drinking this supplement. Now we have nine different essential amino acids like phenylalanine, which is the precursor of the neurotransmitter like dopamine and adrenaline and it is also key to form enzymes. Valine, leucine and isoleucine are some of the most known amino acids in the world of fitness because they are mostly related to muscle building but they also help when it comes to healing wounds. Trionine is essential for the skin, connective tissue and even fat metabolism. In fact when there is a lack of trionine it's been shown to be related to obesity problems. Tryptophan has lots of amazing functions, so I'm just going to stick to the most relevant for this video. This is one of the amino acids that we need for a good mood, as I mentioned earlier, and it also helps us to achieve a healthy gut flora. One of the amino acids that is not so known, at least it's not so mainstream, is methionine. The reason methionine is so important is because all the proteins are made up of amino acids. These are the building blocks, so the first building block in order to create these proteins is methionine, which means that if I don't have enough methionine, I won't be able to fabricate anything else like proteins in order to repair muscles, for example. This is why it's so crucial to have all the essential amino acids, not just a few of them. After all, they're all essential. Next, we have leucine, histidine, which have functions related to absorption of calcium, collagen formation, and the production of histamines, which is necessary for a good immune system. Histamines are also essential to maintain good myelin function, which is the sheet that surrounds the axon of the neurons, allowing for faster transfer of information between the neurons, which as you probably can imagine, if we have low quantities of this amino acid, we could affect the function of the brain. But what happens with muscles? We all heard about amino acids within the world of fitness, but what are the branch chain amino acids or BCAA for short? When it comes to training, there is a training threshold that is related to the amount of leucine that our body needs daily in order to make this muscle mass. The three amino acids that I mentioned earlier, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, are the ones that have a bigger effect on muscle building. The consumption of four grams of leucine per day show to improve strength and even in men that did not even exercise, showing us that the benefits of consuming essential amino acids are not just exclusive to the people that exercise. And if I want to build muscle, my personal advice is to consume essential amino acids and not just branch chain amino acids. And we will see the difference in just a minute. The important aspect is that essential amino acids, the nine essential amino acids, helps us to promote muscle building even when we are fasting and when we are in bed for several days at a time. So what happens with older people and their muscle development? Do amino acids have the same effect or is it just for the younger people? Well, the answer is no. The effect on muscles is also reflected on older adults, even those that have lost great amount of muscle mass over the years. In fact, the results demonstrated that adults ages between 67 and 71 had a positive increase of muscle mass with the use of essential amino acids. This is why I keep mentioning that amino acids are 
necessary over and over. Consuming essential amino acids also help to prevent loss of muscle mass even with people who don't exercise. So what happens with fat and fat metabolism? So with the consumption of essential amino acids, we promote the loss of fat and thus we lower the body fat percentage. And at the same time, we increase the amount of energy. But if your objective is to remain at the current weight, but lose a bit of fat and increase a little bit of muscle, then amino acids will greatly benefit you to create that change and achieve your goal. One aspect you must keep in mind is that essential amino acids are not just going to benefit your muscles. These are used everywhere throughout your body. These are the building blocks of every tissue and many substances that are essential for your body to function properly. When it comes to the brain, essential amino acids are going to greatly benefit cognitive functions because they help form neurotransmitters. These are substances that help to communicate information between the neurons. Tryptophan helps to form serotonin, and without it, you can kiss goodbye your self-esteem. Tyrosine forms dopamine, and there are many, many more examples like this one. But without the right amount of amino acids, our body will not synthesize the appropriate amount of neurotransmitters that the brain needs to function correctly. This is why the people that feel tired all the time or sleepy throughout the day are going to greatly benefit from essential amino acids. Today we know that amino acids like carnitine will better the function of the brain, memory, promote learning, and reduce fatigue. So amino acids are greatly beneficial for losing weight, increasing energy, and also increasing cognitive functions. And other amino acids like tyrosine have also demonstrated to improve memory and mood at the same time. And like these, these are many, many more examples like taurine, phenylalanine, or thionine, which is a great example that serves to reduce anxiety. Thinking of every individual amino acid and its function, you can simply consume all the amino acids together and let your body regulate the usage of them. So the studies that have been done when it comes to evaluating these amino acids, they found that consuming all the amino acids together improves attention, memory, the ability to transition from one task to the next one with ease and without error. And also for other executive functions that are much more complex. And all of these benefits are proven when, with the consumption of essential amino acids and with a regular amount of six grams per day, which is not a whole lot. But the benefits don't end there. Another circumstance where amino acids are an excellent addition is with the rate of recuperation from injuries. If we consume these raw nutrients, these building blocks, they are going to prevent your body from ever cannibalizing itself, meaning the body won't break down muscle to obtain more energy. Imagine that after an injury, your body needs to rebuild tissue and it doesn't matter if it's a torn muscle or after a surgery. In both circumstances, we need our body to make new tissue and the most practical way is to provide the body with amino acids, which are easy to absorb and build that new tissue to heal the wound. This is why the people that have a deficit in protein have a much harder time healing their wounds. But if you're wondering why should we consume amino acids instead of a meal that's also rich in protein, well the answer is that you can consume both. You can have a meal that's rich in protein and actually there is an index called the DS index which tells us the food that have the most amino acid content. The only problem with consuming a meal is that you will be adding more calories. Therefore, if you're fasting or you're only eating during a set amount of time, then you have to adjust to that time frame. Another factor is that whenever having to digest these proteins, amino acids are going to take longer to be digested. And most of the time they aren't even fully digested. And if you're looking to add more muscle mass, amino acids need to be quickly available especially after exercising. A good way to look at this is whenever I drink amino acids as a supplement, they take an average of 23 minutes to be absorbed by the body. Whereas if you have a meal, it will take hours for your body to absorb the amino acids within the meal because the proteins need to be broken down into those simple amino acids. The great benefit of amino acid supplements is the aspect that you can just consume them at any moment and it's very convenient. It won't be 
like consuming a piece of chicken or a piece of fish while you're working out. It just doesn't work. Another important aspect is that excessive amount of protein has been linked to certain risk, but with amino acids, we don't have that risk. For most people, the most difficult aspect is knowing when exactly to consume amino acids or proteins throughout the day. Well, the evidence tells us that the, be the best way to consume this is by consuming three meals of protein throughout the day in order to maximize muscle building. So how can we manage fasting and consuming protein? Well, if you're fasting and you don't consume three meals, use instead 15 to 20 grams of amino acids and this will greatly benefit you on several different aspects. First, they will allow you to continue your, with your fast. And second, you will prevent loss of muscle mass and instead gain muscle, something that is really important. And not all protein is the same relating to the aspect of absorption. First, we have whey protein, which is essentially protein derived from milk. And this, is, this one has one of the worst levels of absorption. Only about 17% of the amino acids get utilized while the rest simply gets eliminated. And this applies even if the product has a good amount of amino acids. Another food like beef, fish, chicken do not have a 100% rate of absorption either. Only about 32% of the amino acids get utilized. But from eggs, we're, we're able to absorb 50% and this is one of the easiest sources to acquire amino acids. However, when we consume amino acids that are essentially already broken down and we don't have to break down those proteins in order to get these amino acids, the absorption rate and utilization of these substances, they go up, up to 90%. And this doesn't mean that the other sources are bad and that we shouldn't consume the others. We have to consume them both, but it does mean that we never do absorb 100% of the nutrients of our food or the supplements. Essential amino acids are some of the best supplements because of the wider rate of benefits. They are safe to use and they are very inexpensive. They are key to achieve a good health, build muscle, create neurotransmitters, benefit your reproductive system, immune system, and even your digestive system. The best amount to consume is between 15 grams per day, either after your workout or with a meal. Without the appropriate amount of substance, we are at risk in many areas of our health. Supplementing our meals and workouts with essential amino acids prevent a deficit of this substance, which will allow you to continue to build more muscle, lose body fat, increase your cognitive function, and simply just increase the rate of recovery after an injury. Whatever your motive is, consuming essential amino acids is worth thinking about and definitely it would be worth trying them out. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and let us know what else would you like us to cover. And also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, turn on notifications, so you never miss a video. See you soon.